Hi, I'm Susan Solovic, the small business expert, and here's your daily tip. Last week, the NLRB, that's the National Labor Relations Board, issued a ruling that could have serious consequences for small businesses and really businesses of any size. The board accused an employer of illegally firing an employee for her Facebook postings. That's right. Apparently, she was posting negative criticisms about the company and her boss on Facebook, and they fired her, and the board said, uh-uh, can't do that. That's a protected activity under the National Labor Relations Act. Now, the act provides protections to employees and prohibits employers from punishing workers, whether they're union or non-union, for discussing terms of their working conditions or unionization. One spokesperson for the board said, it's no different than employees standing around the water cooler and talking about their employment. Well, what does that mean to an employer? As you know, most employees are considered employee at will, so you can fire them for just about any reason as long as it's not illegally motivated. Now this new ruling could change all that. So it would be a good idea to review your social media policy and talk to your legal counsel or human resources professional. But there's another twist. After all, this is the government, right? Three of the NLRB members, the board members, may have been appointed illegally. A U.S. Court of Appeal, U.S. District Court of Appeals, found that three of President Obama's recess appointments may be unconstitutional, which would then mean all of the NLRB's uh, rulings since that time would not be valid. So, in the meantime, what do you do? Well, I would consider those rulings valid. I would talk to your legal counsel, but pay attention to this case as there's more yet to come. And that's today's Daily Tip. I'm Susan Solovic, the small business expert.